Alright, what's going on guys? My name is CGBuild and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be looking at the Brutal V2 1800. Now this is from Cannon Keys. Now I know on my channel, I usually do like 65s, 75s, uh, TKLs, stuff like that. I know there's a lot of you that like full-size keyboards, so, well, full-size. It's an 1800 layout, which, hey, close enough. It's the biggest I'm going to mod or anything. So Cannon Keys reached out to me, said if I want to make a video on this, I was like, yes. So. Here we are. They had a Brutal 1 1800, and this is the V2, obviously. By the way, this is designed by AIO3, which, I think I said that right. Anyways, if you, if you, you've definitely seen his builds. He, he does a lot of cool keyboard builds. One that really unique into the scene, and they've been really sought after. And it's cool that they collab together to make this thing, which is, hey, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty nice. So before we go into exactly what this thing is, into uh, building, it. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this thing. Really nice, thick carrying case, just like all of the other Kenny Keys boards. And inside you have the case wrapped up in the signature cloth rag thing they have. And then you have inside the little zipper part, all the stuff you need, like hardware, plate, PCB, stuff like that. You also get some foam, uh, included screws, and the screwdriver to do such screws and yeah that's pretty much it now for me i have both versions because it is either hot swap or solder so with that being said i am going to be using the hot swap version because it's just easier i don't want to have to solder <laughs> now taking a look at the actual case itself dude such a clean looking case and the best thing is this thing is going to be in stock now with me saying that, this one is a production unit, and it still looks amazing. But this is a production unit, so keep that in mind. If you see any, like, weird things, you're like, will mine be like that? Probably not. It, <laughs> I'm just being honest. It's, it's gonna, yours is gonna be way better than the production unit they sent me to make a video on. Speaking of the in-stock, there actually isn't a lot of in-stock 1800, like, pr like, premium boards out there. Don't get me wrong, there's a couple, but, like, this is going to be, once again, in stock on their site. You can go and always, like, go look at this thing, and if you want it, get it. You have the clean edges, the nice lines, just really nice. It is very minimal, so when it comes to designing this thing, it's, I mean, just like all the other Brutalist boards, it's, once again, really simple. I think the board is designed beautifully, looks amazing. I, I really enjoyed this thing. Taking a look at like the inside of the case, you see it has the zinc weight. It's gonna add a little bit of weight to it, of course, as well as make it a little bit sound different, and it does help overall. As far as what you're gonna be able to buy with like the add-ons of this thing, you can get an FR4 plate, a PC plate, an alu plate, a palm plate, CF plate, and as you can tell, I have the palm plate. Looks pretty good. Now, as for the price, it hasn't been finalized, which I could be totally wrong here, but I think it's gonna be pretty pricey. I mean, if you go look at like, like the Brutal V1, which is also gonna be sold, like it's not gonna be discontinued or anything. Like you can buy the V1 or you can buy the V2. Three, like four, five hundred dollars, dude. I know it's a lot, okay. But it's a premium board. So taking apart the actual case, you get a top part and the bottom part. Now once you actually flip this over, you can actually see it's a little bit different. It's a gasket mount, but it's one-sided. So what I mean by that is it's, it's only on the bottom half. And the whole goal of this thing isn't for like a really bouncy and soft typing experience. It's mainly for the sound, which, hey, I mean, they know what they're doing here. Cause I mean, it's, it's like a hybrid between like the gasket mount and the burger mount. So with that being said, how it performs, is really good. I, you know how I like a stiff typing experience. It does have like, it's not like it's crazy flex, but like you can definitely tell it's it's there. Cool to see a different mounting style, even though it's not like new or anything. But it's it's nice to have a different something than just only, especially recently, only gasket mounted. Another cool thing about this is, whenever tightening the screws for like the plate, because I'll get into this in a minute. It actually, you can adjust the sound a little bit. Say you don't like it, tighten some up. And you see what I'm saying? I mean, just that alone is, is pretty cool. Now taking a look at the PCBs, you have the hot swap and the soldered version. Once again, like I already said, I'm gonna be using the hot swap version, but looking at both of them, dude, they're beautiful. They, I mean, they look good. Now I, I'm, I could go into the foam and the stabilizers, which are cherry clip-ins, and I have some words to say about those. Anyways, um, I wanna go ahead and get to building this thing, so. Let's do this. So since it's already taken apart, we're gonna go ahead and get our plate and our PCB. Now before we do anything, we do have to put in these stabs because like 
They're like screw-ins, you know? Cherry PCB mounted stabilizers. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be honest, dude. This is the only thing I don't like about what Canon Keys does. They include these, which is like a stock option. I understand. It's just kind of like, hey, there's some stabs in case you don't have any. Just get some that are already clipped, dude. Like, the fact that they're not clipped upsets me so much. I have a little comparison of what one sounds like just normally with no lube, no modding, and then one with it just lubed. Both of them. You can tell the, the lubed one sounds way better, but the unlubed one sounds... <laughs> But that's another thing, even with the lewd one being better, if you don't clip them, which does take time, not a lot, but if you want it perfect, you get some sandpaper and sand them down after clipping them. I, it's just so much. Why even include them if they're gonna be that bad? That's just my whole two cents. That's the only thing bad. But once again, if you're getting a board like this, you probably already have your own stabs, like, that are already tuned, because, I mean, this thing isn't cheap. Now that uh, that's over with, I did record with the uh, stock, stabs that it came with the cherry ones but i did swap them to some more that are a little bit better i don't i can't remember what exactly they are anyways after lubing those and putting them in we can get the plate and pop in a couple switches and then put the foam in between pop it down make sure it's all good and now you can put the rest of the switches in speaking of these switches these are from canon keys and they are the lavender linear switch so these are fully nylon besides the stem which is palm they're manufactured by duroc which hey I mean, come on. And they do have factory lube, which I, I will say, very consistent. I, I really like this whole thing. And because of the lavender name, you can tell they're like lavender see-through. Anyways, gonna pop all those in, and there we go. There's all the switches. Now, I put the bottom foam, which is just some PE foam. So next, we need to install the gasket. You can either install them onto the bottom of the case, or you can install them on the bottom of the plate. I went ahead and did it at the bottom of the plate, and it, I, th I think it turned out pretty good but some may argue that it would be the bottom of the case would be the best results. Once again, this isn't for like the most bounce, so I don't, I don't think it matters. I, it is what it is. By the way, the gasket's really thick. It's part of what they wanted, really thick gaskets. Anyways, now I had a little bit of extras because that's what they have, and I went ahead and put it to the top part of the case just for, to get rid of a little bit of that noise. It's, I mean, it's gonna be aluminum on aluminum. I went ahead and I had three of the long gasket ones and I put it on the top part, on one on each side and then on the back. I don't know if it really helped, but I went ahead and did it. And you, I mean, I mean, would you? I think you would. I mean, they're just kind of there, might as well. And now we can screw in the top part of the case and this is where you can screw it a little bit tighter to get a better sound. Now, not better sound, but get a different result of whatever you're looking for, so a little bit a little bit loose could give you a certain sound. Tightening it could give you another sound. Me personally, I don't like screwing it in all the way, so I like giving it a little bit, a little bit less, not all the way tight. And I think that was the best sound in my opinion. We can go ahead and put on the keycaps. So the keycaps I went with are a little bit different. So these are from Candy Keys as well, and these are the CXM Profile Sugar Plum keycaps. Colorway wise, look amazing. I didn't know if I was gonna like the profile just because. I'm a big fan of cherry. So these are kind of like essay profiles, but they're not as tall. They have a really good texture to them. A lot of keycaps that look like this, they usually are like really cheap and like not that good. Knockoffs almost. But these, they're really nice. Now with the profile being said, I mean, these are going to give more of a deeper sound. Once again, they are thicker and taller than cherry profile keycaps, which, I mean, I think it helps this board a lot. I think this board possibly could have sound thin with the whole switch setup in cherry keycaps probably would have sound a little bit thin i probably wouldn't have got some other switches but with these switches and these keycaps all around i think these are like really cool comparative i mean once again i really like cherry profile and seeing these on this board it just it makes you want to use different keycaps more often which probably might do that that is the build dude this thing looks phenomenal and just the brutalist line is more thick like that's why it's that's why it looks like it does. It's just made to look like a slab of just fucking metal. <laughs> so enough about that. Let's go ahead and hear this sound test.
Dude. I told you, man. It, I mean, it sounds good. I mean, it's just, it's, it's something about the keycaps, dude. I, I like them. It, plus those switches, dude. Come on. Switches are insane. I'm gonna be honest, dude. Might be some of my go-to. Anyways, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you did enjoy. This thing is, once again, beautiful. Yeah, let me know what you think. And yeah, uh, thank you for all the subs and, and liking the video. It means a lot. And yeah, I think that is the end of the video. And I will see you in the next one.